A McDonald's manager with a big heart gets a big surprise today and a special award. Frances King is a store manager in Brandon. She was presented this afternoon with the humanitarian award for her dedication to the community. King was chosen because of multiple community driven programs that she helps out with, including coat drives and the Ronald McDonald House. It was very awesome, uh, very humble. Uh, she would help anybody. Uh, and really made me want to be a supervisor myself because she was a great leader to me. Now, along with the Humanitarian Award, King's Store also received two other awards at this special program today. Well, one of the reasons that Frances King was chosen for this award was her work helping a group of people often forgotten, former convicts. Our Wiley Livingston takes a look at how her program is giving them a fresh start. She joins us in the studio with that story. Andrea, life after jail can be a challenge. Staying on the right side of the wall can be hard if you can't support yourself. Many find their past conviction a stumbling block to landing a good job, but for some, help is out there. It's a question many people have when they get out of jail. Where do I go from here? I kept having people come in and ask for a job and saying they couldn't find a job because they had a record. And then it was just something like, ah, oh, that people started telling other people that she'll hire you with a felony or she'll hire you with a record. And it just grew from there. For Frances King, it's all about second chances. She started partnering with restitution centers to help get people back on their feet. Now around 80% of her employees come from the program. I hired them to work off their fine and some of them stay, decide to relocate in the area and it's just giving them a second chance to get together when they get out for employment and to learn a job skill. And I started a couple of years ago doing it and it's just something I've really grown passion for. So what happens is they're usually there um, maybe working off a of fine, uh, paying rehabilitation things. And also it's given us the opportunity to have some great employees to, to rehabilitate some people. But the program isn't easy. Participants have to come in with an open mind. Number one is they have to have their mindset that they're ready to do better. So it's wonderful when you have those that it's a goal for them to succeed and it's a goal for me to help them get there. But the help doesn't stop after the participants move on to their next journey. King says she tries to stay in contact. I get to just spread the I love. I just love giving people an opportunity and then just to be able to help them. Because a lot of them trying to get home to family and their kids. And I love kids. And so it's their goal to get home to their kids and it's my goal to help them get home. King says it's important for people leaving the justice system to have a support system to lean on and to help guide them towards positive decisions. 